Okay, we're back everyone. Welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder. We're back with another episode of my Let's Play series on Farming Simulator 22 in East Vineland, New Jersey. Here we are. As you can see, we're harvesting our corn already. We are now at that point. It is on course play, so this truck should be uh, dumping into here. Let's see if it does it on its own. Are you going to be smart? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, and uh, we never really got to sell off any of our canola, so we're still sitting on that. We could be selling it this month or next month. Uh, it's not a huge deal. Oops, we need to fix that. Should we just do this? That helps. Because it got blocked. All right. Dump. Come on, dump. Dump. Anyways, so we didn't sell off all this. Uh, it could be we could sell it this month or the next month. What? You didn't finish. Oh, oh, okay. That works. Okay. So anyways, uh, we didn't get to sell off all our canola because our canola situation peaks this month and next month. We did sell off one trailer load because we had a partial load filled up in the back of this trailer, I believe. And so we just sold that off and made a few thousand bucks. But now we need a trailer available in order to do the corn. So this corn is now going to be loaded in. So we're not going to be able to do um, our canola just yet. Um, so I'm thinking about getting into the trailer um, and a new tractor soon because I want to be able to transport stuff back and forth a little more easily. Uh, maybe if not another trailer, at least a truck that actually does transport. Like that's that way, I don't have to keep on disconnecting and connecting this tractor from there, and it's just a truck that does it. So I was looking into seeing what some of that could be. Now we, could, like I said, we could get another trailer. We can get like a really basic, like this is the cheapest one to us that would hold quite a bit. Uh, here's another one that's pretty cheap that holds seven thousand. Here's one that holds eight thousand. That's pretty cheap. But I was like, you know, I don't really want just another trailer. Like I just that's kind of sounds boring to me. I'd like one that could do other things, like an auto-loading trailer, like here we can get a flatbed trailer combo that's super long and it could do a bunch of things. It could do logs, it could do tippers and stuff like that. I was like, oh, that's just excessive. Um, so I was just like, I don't really know what I want. I could do an IT runner, that'd be a lot easier to change back and forth. And then I just kind of said to myself, you know what, forget it. Let's get a truck. Let's get a truck that has the ability to be a uh, dump body. So we have really no options here in the pickup truck center other than the TLX, which is right here. We can get the cheapest TLX to start. Um, and then there are bigger TLXs. So I thought about that. Um, so that was one option. Because we're almost, we're gonna get there. We'll be able to do it after we sell a couple loads. We can do that. And then we can get ourselves a tipper body here for 3,500. So that would be pretty simple. Um, and that would be a simple option to get started. And that starts out at, a 6,000 liter capacity, which is not quite what our current truck is, but we could make it bigger and make it 8,000 uh, for 2,000 more. Um, we could even make it unreal, but we'll do probably basic to start. And I thought maybe that would be one way to do it. The other option would be to go to, uh, where is it? Let's go to our downloadables. And we could do, where are you? Something like this. Get a cheap truck here at some point and do that and get a bit a trailer bed uh, so that's the most expensive option and then where are my here's my lizard truck another cheap one here i really just don't like this bulk carrier look it just looks really boring <laughs> and to start it's forty one thousand. i was like this just looks really boring and annoying I think kitties kitties are being annoying and that's expensive. It's another 90,000 bucks for just between the two. Um, and then there was one other option. Where are you? TLX, the Phoenix series, yep. Could have sworn we had another option. Where are you? Where's the Unitrack? Lizard trailer carrier. Thought about this. This is 4,200 bucks. And this could be used with uh, a lot of the IT runner stuff. I think I got another one of those somewhere. Where are you? Um, here's another truck that could potentially work in our favor. Except it's an expensive truck. The Lindner Unitrack. Like I said, I could just invest in the actual Lindner Unitrack. 
just I just I don't really care for those expensive trucks. There's no reason why truck should be that expensive. So this Fiat sound like the closest thing that sorry not Fiat the um, TLX was probably like the best bet. It's just the cheapest way to get started with having something that can run back and forth and do bulk, and be a general purpose truck for towing and be strong enough to do things. So that's what I was leaning on doing. Um, soon because I want this ability for this trailer or that or another trailer because this is just getting annoying having to do this regularly um, to change this thing back and forth to do bail trailing so I thought maybe getting a bail trailer or an auto loading trailer so what we'll do is we'll probably continue to harvest here fill up this truck keep dumping keep doing this back and forth we'll switch off the header for this guy we'll get them um, these fields harvested too. These are my um, soybean fields that are ready to go. Um, we'll get these harvested. Have weeds in them? No, it doesn't. That's what I thought. It says I do have larger weeds in it. Since when? No, no, no. Okay. So, so these means we'll get these harvested. We have the two fields. And then we are getting close to um, planting season for canola again. So we might do, this is, might be our repeat things. We'll do canola, and then harvest the canola, and then plant uh, at the same time the corn and soybeans again, if that's how it's going to keep working. Because we can harvest the canola, and then immediately plant corn and soybeans in the same week. Just a busy month in June. Harvest canola, and then plant corn and soybeans. And then plant canola in February, and then collect it, and then do it all over again. But that's the fastest way I've seen in order to keep this flowing regularly. But that's why I say I'd, I'd like to have the TLX maybe at some point, because then I'll always have the something to um, uh, always be towing back and forth. It'll be a lot faster too, because this trailer just takes forever to tow back and forth, and the TLX could do all of our transport for us. So, where did the trick? Stop it! Stop fighting, dang kitties. So, that's probably what we'll do. Um, we'll check in with you guys after these fields are harvested. Um, we don't need to sit here and watch it all, but I'll do a little short little montage of it. And then I'll, uh, I'll check in with you guys when the fields are harvested and we've collected our bounty from it um, and with a total of the two crops. We'll check with you then. See you later. Hello everyone, just wanted to check back in. We went and bought ourselves a TLX trailer attacher uh, and a TLX um, dump body. This dump body could be used later if we buy one of the TLX trucks. Um, so I figured why not get the trailer because then we can then just get the different bodies for each thing that we're going to use. So right now we got this new big ass trailer and that is great. We could use it for all of our towing back and forth for selling which I think is ideal because we want to be able to sell as much as possible in one go to limit our trips that we have to take that are long distance so now we can take pretty much most of our canola here in one trip and get a good payment here um, I'm not gonna wait till it's the maximum payout for next month I'm just gonna pick it up now um, just because I think you know a 50 bucks to hundred dollars per thousand liters here on 21,000 yeah it could be 2,000 bucks but that's not the end of the world right now I'd rather have the money in the bank right now so we can begin looking at some other equipment in the future possibly a bigger tractor because this tractor although a fine tractor I've been having some weird uh, 
issues with it where sometimes in game it will uh, stop working like not it's perfectly repaired it's not broken down or anything but what's happening is the oops we just lost something uh, ah. the the actual tractor will stop working for me and um, I will, I'll press forward and it won't move and it just decided to do that on its own Oh, jeez. plus it also likes to drift you'll see here I'm gonna let off the gas I'm not pressing the gas at all. I'm just still drifting. And if I didn't hit the brakes and reverse here, it would just keep going. So that's one of my... Uh, oh wait, canola's not accepted here. What? Where is canola accepted? Green mill. Oh, I'm stupid. Where do I need to go to drop this off? Cell points for canola is grain cell point. Oh, not the grain mill. Where is the cell point? Green cell point. Uh-oh. Where are you? Bakery. Power pond. Water fill. Sugar mill. Where the heck? Grain processing. Supermarket. Where the heck is the grains? That's the grain mill plus. And we said this was not the grain mill. We need to sell. We need to go to the grain cell point south. Where the heck is that? Supermarket. Supermarket. Sawmill. Grain processing. Dairy. Fast food. Lime seed. Sugar mill. Farmer's market. Spinnery. Oil mill. That's one place we can sell it at. Animal dealer, cereal factory, tailor shop, where the heck is it? Why can't I find this place that we need to sell at? Green mill plus, vehicle shop, gas station, sugar mill, dairy, grain processing, fast food, Farmer's Market, Oil Mill's one place we know we can sell to, Sawmill, Biomass, another Sawmill, Supermarket, Biogas, Carpentry, Tailor Shop, don't tell me, nope, it's a debris crusher, Cereal Factory, and Animal Dealer, I don't know where the heck, does it show you where it is when you find it on the map, Cell Points? Green cell point south. Green cell point north. Green cell point south. Is there a cell point down here that I just don't know about? Am I just going crazy? Like, I'm not crazy. Like, if I zoom in here. Yeah. I don't see the grade cell point. Well, I guess we're going to the oil mill, which is right. Where is it? Well, it's all the way over here, right? Yeah, it's all the way over there. Jeez. I I just don't understand. Tip stations, productions, loading stations. Tip stations. I can't explain it. Unless it's just not on the map. And I just don't know where it is. Well, that's frustrating. So, anyways, now you guys know what frustrations I'm going through. We're just going to cut through all these fields to find this cell point now. Oop, I found something. Burn it A thousand bucks. That makes up for the failure that that was. And let's go get this sold. So, we're going to do this. We're going to sell these off the canola. We're going to make the money. 
So you come on tractor, you can do this. There we go. We definitely need a bigger tractor. Um, and we're gonna go sell this off. All right, everybody, we're back. We just harvested all of our fields and then got and cultivated them all just to turn them over to get them planted in um, the next couple of months. Soon we'll be planting the canola again. But yeah, we got it all harvested. And I'll show you guys our our harvest. Uh, it was corn and soybeans, so we'll show you those two crops, um, and we'll also look at when we're going to be selling them because it looks like we're going to sell them next. I'd like to buy processing plants so we can make a little bit more money, but we'll see how that all plays out. All right, so. I already showed you guys these. These are great. This thing is awesome. All right, so we have 7,711 soybeans and 32,365 corn. The bigger field is definitely nice to have. Um, getting 7,000 soybeans isn't really all that great. Um, I think I might convert these fields here um, eventually to grass and we'll do silage. Or when we do soybeans in the future, we'll get um, hay bales off them, and that'll help supplement some of the um, uh, some of the bales, some some of the costs, and some of the extra benefits. It's not going to be much, but it'll be something, um, which we might do the next harvest um, because we'll be able to do that with the canola too. Canola straw is also something else we can do because this map enables straw on all um, things. I don't know about corn; I didn't pay attention, but I think it enables it on soybeans too. So I saw that. So yeah, we have 7,000 soybeans, almost 8,000 and 32,000 corn. So if we look at the cell situation for those, let's look at um, soybeans first. We're at 1,100 at the moment and the price is going to peak at 2,000 in June. So here we are in like, right now it is November. So November we're near the bottom. So we're gonna wait until June to, to sell those. And then the corn is also gonna be peaked in June. I guess if we didn't feel like waiting, we could go in December or January. So if we really want to offload the corn right now, we, we absolutely could. Um, just because I don't think this is a significant enough change, probably like 50 bucks for us to, to consider that. But on 32,000 corn, yeah, it could be worth it. It could be worth doing that, uh, waiting till June. We'll see what we want to buy and what goes on sale. I'd like to get um, probably in the next harvest, uh, we have now 42,000 here and we probably can afford at some point um, a baler and a bale wrapper now the baler won't need to wrap with stuff that we get off of this the bale wrapper we won't wrap this but we'll cut the grasses around our property and collect that um, it won't be much it'll be pretty much what's here Let's see, what, what, will it, what will it count for? Oh, map. This is what we own right here, right? Farmland. Yeah, it'll it'll count for... I guess it counts for everything in between, right? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess it does. So, um, we might just do that. Um, harvest the grasses in between. It won't be much. I need to get a mower then. I might consider buying the property across the street soon too, it's something else. Um, just because it's a nice flat area and maybe we can um, convert that into some other fields. Um, but for right now, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fast forward a couple months, see if anything goes on sale. And if nothing goes on sale, um, we'll end the episode before the next planting. Um, and we'll start the planting then. I'm gonna do the next episode for the next planting and harvest. So let's uh, let's go ahead and fast forward in a month here. Oops, I can't collect this stupid. I want this. I can't collect it because it's too close to my sleep trigger. Maybe one of these days we'll move the house, but or we'll delete this house, put a new house over there on the far side, and we'll turn this side over here into our complete like farm location and put a barn here and a bunch of other things. Um, so, anyways. Let's get to sleep, and we'll we'll see you guys when uh, if anything goes on sale. Otherwise, we will end the episode here. Um, I'll check it back in the movie before I end the episode. We'll check back in. All right, everybody, we're back uh, after just taking a couple of months off here to see that in January seems to be the peak month for our 
corn right now. Um, so we are going to go ahead and pick it up and sell it. The current sell price is around $865 if we go to the fast food restaurant, which I believe is in kind of in the center of town. Fast food, where are you? Carpentry, sawmill, biogas, supermarket, farmers, where are you? Pre-processing, dairy. Sugar mill. All the way, sorry, now light. It's all the way down at the bottom. So, I'm going to spare you guys the trip of me selling that. Um, I'm going to go sell my, pretty much my entire crop of corn. I still have a little bit of canola left, which we'll just hold on to to the next harvest. Um, and we're going to go ahead and sell off our corn down there. Here we're going to get like 21,000 out. I'm about to do two trips, so it is a bit of a time consuming situation. But we're going to go sell the product and make our money. And then we looked to see what was on sale this one, last couple months. There wasn't anything noteworthy on sale. So we probably will buy something before the our end of harvesting after we plant these fields with um, canola because canola is going to be the next thing we plant in February. Canola will be ready to be harvested in June, which is also the same time that we'll be planting our corn and soybeans again. So, we'll probably stop the episode here, and we'll resume the episode, we'll check in with you guys, um, somewhere in the middle of me uh, planting canola, and then harvesting it, and all that other stuff, and then seeing if the kind of money we have, and if anything does go on sale, to um, finally finish off uh, getting some uh, new equipment, and f get off to the next season. So... Yeah, because this tractor, man, it, it's struggling. Really struggling. This is going to be a long haul. Definitely going to get a, a stronger tractor. This tractor we'll probably keep for all other purposes, but we'll probably sell the little cra little tractor, or we'll keep it and buy something bigger. Get some of that f uh, bailing equipment we were talking about. we got to see if any tractors go on sale that have more than 175 horsepower, because this thing is capable of doing things, but... It'd be nice to have a little over 200. So we'll see you guys in the next episode when we are planting and harvesting the uh, canola season. All right, everyone. Thanks for checking in. Be sure to like and subscribe. This is Chuck Thunder signing out.